All right, this right here is a video on taking apart your Dyson, the one with the ball. Found a couple videos out there telling you about how to do it, but I went a little bit more in depth because there's a couple questions left unanswered. The first question I found was how to get this little basket off. So the tools you're going to need for this job is one of the smaller screwdrivers, paintbrush, and a large screwdriver. And last but not least, I have a little extender on this tool, but you're going to need a special T tool. It has a star pattern on top and this size is a T15. So I already did some of the pre-work just to make this video a little bit faster. But the first thing you're going to do is use this little guy. And you're going to get, you'll see this little slot right here. You can slowly work this piece all the way around until she starts coming loose. And that's when I'll let you completely slide it down. Dyson is very nice in helping you out by putting slots and everything so when it comes to reassembly it's a lot easier so with the basket being removed it gives you the option to then remove the next part which I've already done but that's where the larger screwdriver comes in you'll see these slots right here it's where you use the large screwdriver and you slowly work each spot that has these points do it very generous because you can break this piece of plastic right here so once you get that apart this piece comes off and then you can get all the dirt inside of air you want to clean up. Next step is remove this little filter right here or an o-ring if you want to call it that. It's very delicate so be careful with that. Next piece is a little bit harder. That's where this tool came in handy again. Where there's each slot you see here you can slowly put the screwdriver in, turn it, working this piece of plastic out. Once you do that you'll then come on the inside right here next to these vacuum holes and slowly turn it out to where you work it out enough to where you can get your fingers into it and pull it out. Once again Dyson is helpful they slot things out so when it comes to reassembly it's a lot easier. This next part is where that T15 comes in because you're going to be removing these screws right here. There's seven of them that you're going to remove from the inside you're going to see them in deep inside of there. That's why I have such a long tool just to get to it. It doesn't need to be that long just to get to that point. At that point. So before that you do anything, it's always good to remove the filter because it's going to get all dusty in there as you can see. But once you get them screws removed, it's going to allow you to dismantle the top. Be careful of this spot because remember it's tension under spring. You got a nice little screen right here if you want to clean out underneath it. But that right there is 100% complete dismantle of your canister filter. Brush comes in handy to clean it all up inside that area to get it that deep clean. Some people like to put it under water. I don't because it takes forever to dry and I want to put this back together and just use it again if I have to instead of wait for it to dry. You leave a little bit of water in there that can cause more buildup than what you had before. So, I hope this video was helpful.